Hello, this is Dr. John Dombrowski, Washington Pain Center. I want to talk to you what's going to happen to your care after your spinal cord stimulator trial. Basically, what will happen is over that seven to ten, seven to ten day period, you've got to, an opportunity to try this device out. You've essentially done a test run. You've kicked the tires, you see how the seat feels, you like the gadgetry. Now, is this for you or isn't it? That's only for you as a patient to decide. I can't make that decision. No physician can make that decision for you. This is why God has given us free will. You can determine what the care that you want, the level that you want. And again, spinal stimulation is not going to be the magic bullet. It's not going to take away your pain 100%. It's probably going to take it away at least 50%. If it's not 50%, it's probably not for you. So again, and most likely, you'll probably still need to take some medications. Again, if you're in narcotics, so only to get you off the narcotics or at least more of a manageable rate. The goal of this particular practice is to get you off all narcotics. Other things that you could still be on are probably the anti-seizure medications, something to help you with your sleep, etc. Again, this is very reasonable because spinal cord stimulation does not do everything. But it is a game changer and can kind of put you back to where you need to be active and get your life back. Thanks for watching.